Frenemies number 17. So this is the next one that we've got to do. Now, this one is one of the only episodes of Frenemies that is not on the H3 channel anymore. And it's uploaded by this username. And it says, The controversial Frenemies episode where Trisha alleges that her 6th grade teacher, who she names, essayed her and was caught watching CP. The episode was deleted after no proof or record was found that this, you know, was ever something that was charged or arrested. Um, and to basically further allow the family to not have to deal with Trisha just bringing up the name with no proof. So this is... This is an intense episode. And um, I do want to give a trigger warning going in because, again, it's really, really, really intense um so we'll keep that in mind and we'll get into it and again a lot of people were like "Ooh, do we want to do this episode i don't want to just jump from this to like episode 18 it, it kind of seems inauthentic um so we're gonna listen to it and if there's moments we need to censor we will censor them um but let's get into it everyone are we ready you want to do the intro me yeah because i usually go welcome everybody uh, you want to do it today mm -hmm, yeah now should we include this <laughs> the I mean, Trisha's look already, right off the bat. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I didn't know if I could do these. This is fun. I was like a guest on the show, so I'm, I'm down to do it. Ready? Yeah, be the host. We go to the center? Right into the okay. camera. You tell them how you feel. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Frenemies. They said it when it last, and mm. we're on episode number 17. Really? Yeah. We really are. And Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Is that, is that true, Dan? So, how, that's, mm -hmm. that, how long is that? That's like... Over four months, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing this. Okay, minute. people are saying it's really fast, so we will turn it down to 1.25. Don't worry. <clears throat> I'm, I'm excited. Well, I think this is like the only thing people like like from me on the internet. Like, like, <laughs> that's not true. Your no, TikTok is. is popping. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, on YouTube, like, no one's ever cared. I don't think I've ever like gotten this. Like, this is cool. Didn't people like you in dating? It's well? not ever... gonna last. It won't last. Yeah, this was definitely a moment in time, Trish. Soak it in. Watch. I don't remember watching this episode. I don't know. Yeah, that was a channel. I didn't get any coin from that. Oh, you didn't get coin? No. What is mine? What is the deal with the vlog squad? <laughs> they don't get any coin? Like, I guess it's all about for a promo for yourself. Yeah, and I think it worked. I think they all were, like, popping. But now that he's done vlogging and he's, like, just a Twitcher, everyone is, like, fucked. Because no one's getting any views. I'm like, oh, fuck, what the fuck. Mm. And everyone's, like, pissed that David doesn't vlog. Like, can you vlog so we can, like, be a part of some things? And he's like, no, I'm just going to Twitch. Interesting. And sell that puzzle. He made $3 million from a puzzle. He doesn't need to. He made more than that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I got, first of all, I have, I have kind of a problem with you. Um, really? Not a real, not a uh, serious. One minute and 30 seconds in. We're, we're beginning. We're getting into it already. Good, problem, Good for us. Problem. My problem is that you're getting me into so much trouble <gasps> with people. Oh, yeah, yeah. People like, like just over the weekend, I, first of all, I tweeted, fuck Jeffree Star. First of all, which you don't even follow me. I don't follow you. I don't know why you I don't follow you, you because you post your fucking gay thing vagina. I didn't ask you to defend me. I didn't ask She goes, or she posts, uh, Trishusi, Trisha Paytusi on the timeline, as in squirting videos. Broad daylight. I no, I, I know you did. From anyone. I and actually, would literally tweet Ethan pictures of her punani. I have low expectations Bro, of my friends. I, I know. I'm just saying, like being around you. Toilet paper and all. So all of a sudden, I'm talking mad shit to these people I never care about, like watching. Fuck Jeffrey <laughs> Star. To. I agree. Fuck Jeffrey Star. I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> but then another one. This one got me into real trouble. You, but maybe it's you getting yourself into trouble. I it is. I, it is. But like, you're a bad influence on me because I'm a shit talker by maybe nature. <laughs> yeah, so you're and now you're get, giving me all these new people I hate a lot. <laughs> Like, Casey Neistat. Can you see my phone, Dan? Casey oh, Neistat? Oh, Casey, I love Casey. He said... I know. He's misogynistic. Why? I told you my issue with him. When he was when I was in the vlogs a lot or whatever, they were friends with him. And he's another misogynist that will not look you in the eyes if you're a female, talks over you. He never wants... Casey Neistat will not look you in the eyes if you're a female. I don't believe it, but all right, sure. Like, look to me in the eyes. Never, never, like, talk to me. Always talk to Jason. If Jason was talking about me, he would just ignore it, keep moving. He's like, I wasn't even there. But multiple huh. times. He's misogynistic. Anyways, what about him? You and I don't like one tell the truth. I'm not trying to get any more drama. Honestly, I am happy. I really don't want to be in. Who, okay, like... who, okay. Who's worse, Jax Films or Casey Neistat? Jax Films. <laughs> <laughs> the worst person yeah. on the internet, yeah. hands down. <laughs> but anyway, Casey just tweeted out, "Hey, progress over here, slow." To David. Oh no! Did you with tweet the, him? With the with the hundred thousand dollar puzzle. Tell me you did not respond. <laughs> just... And he says, "We got a backup puzzle, so uh, has arrived, but progress remains stagnant." I told him, "Buy a lottery ticket. It's faster and better regulated." <laughs> But then, so I was like, I was just joking. I was like, fuck it, I gotta do it. But Casey made a funny response. I mean, they were really on David's ass a lot whenever this was happening. But I mean, it was all warranted. I mean, between scams and almost killing friends. I mean, there's a lot to call David out for. Well, it's okay, whatever you said. Oh. You're trying to have a relaxing weekend, Ethan. But then the mm -hmm. David stands came in. Oh, yeah, they're crazy. I was like, oh, fuck. What'd they say? Yeah, I'm gonna read some. Is it about me? 
He said, one person says, right. it's almost like the point of the puzzle isn't to win money. Excuse me, what's the name of the puzzle, dumbass? <laughs> they just want a really cool QR code. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the name of the puzzle is the $100,000 puzzle. Excuse me, some of us don't play puzzles to win money. Now, excuse me, while I go back to my hundred, <laughs> while I'm trying to put together five hundred thousand dollars okay. puzzles simultaneously. But also, don't you think people that know David personally should not even be allowed to win? Because what if they sent him this hundred thousand dollar puzzle? Chances are he didn't. But like, what? I mean, nobody was gonna win. <laughs> like, if we're gonna call it a scam, then why would his friends win? That happened at McDonald's. The, there was like this huge McDonald's exactly. scam where the, all the winning pieces went to like mobsters. Yo, here's another one. Exactly, great point. No, you're right. So <laughs> someone else said, ooh, 38 likes, this one hurt. He said, imagine someone saying buy Walmart clothes instead of Teddy Fresh because it's cheaper and more accessible. What? Bad take, Ethan. Wait, what? That puzzle is overpriced than anything else. Versus, and it's like a robot and what? Bro, this is the power of David Stans. This comment doesn't even make sense and it got 38 likes. <laughs> I didn't say, I'm not questioning the quality of the puzzle. <laughs> Literally just saying it's a lottery. <laughs> crazy i guess you know how they said what the poll was is that they it's they guarantee sweepstake. every winner yeah and everybody wins no five cents no that's no, not the, the loophole that it's a sweepstake and you can write in to get a free oh qr code but you only get oh. one qr code so it really it's and, and, oh. and to get one without david dobrik talk boring out buying the puzzle, you have to send a postcard to a specific address with a bunch of like personal. It reminds me of that. Okay, that's even more sketchy because he's not talking it about is. that. <laughs> he's like, if you want to do it for free, just wipe this address. Like. Well, so that's normal for sweepstakes, but like, it, that's a huge walk around. Like, am I just going to open a lottery and be like, oh, by the way, you can get one for free if you hike to the top of Mount, Mount Geljara <laughs> and plant and then find the hidden mailbox with the, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. And it's only one, you know? You don't have to defend me. I, I'm used to people I know. being anxious Listen, to me. I just felt like saying it. Fuck Jeffree Star. Like one person who's ever like defended Trish ever in life, and I don't expect it, and I don't care. I can defend myself, but I don't. Need Sorry, can we talk? Why? Why does she look like this? What? Who was she cosplaying? Was this Gerard Way? Why does she look like this? I mean, no disrespect. My chemi my chemical romance. Oh, okay. For like context, I just need to know. Need Gerard Way. Okay. I appreciate it, but I don't. Her Gerard in Way. You are wholesome. <laughs> What happened last week? I was more controversial. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't know. People really like you, and people don't like me the way they like That's you. That's not true. I feel like I feel like people don't like me. No, they do. I apologize to D'Angelo Wallace. She's oh, nice. I like it. Oh, she walks back on the D'Angelo thing. D'Angelo, friend to this channel. We just watched all three videos. The previous time, she was like, "Fuck D'Angelo." Did a shit job at those Shane exposes. She didn't even watch them, and then she did watch them after Shane turned on her, and she was like. Tim, we're gonna get into that, but there's one. No, other... not about that. I just like I felt bad. I watched the live and I felt like I hurt his feelings. I honestly like don't watch your video, so I shouldn't even say I don't like you or hate you. I, no, I think we it. understand. You I know think... what it is? It's like you remember that video? Someone made an hour long video about you, and you like went through it minute by minute and like try to disprove whatever they were saying. And mm -hmm. it's probably right, whatever. But anyone can edit anything. They can make Shane look like a hero, or they can make Shane look evil. Not to like defend him, yeah, yeah. not defending him, but yeah. I'm just saying like I, that's what I had the issue with is like someone making hit pieces because you can edit anybody look like any type of way. Was this during the time when? Oh, wait, no, she turned on Shane on episode 18. Oh, my God. Okay, so this was officially the last ever episode of Frenemies where Trisha defended Shane Dawson. Episode 18 was whenever she changed, uh, yeah, when she turned on Shane. So this was our last episode of her defending Shane. The next episode, she turns on Shane completely. This was whenever the Jeffrey and Ryland drama was. Hey, they did it with you. And it's like, I just don't, I don't support that, but... Whatever, it's fine. It's whatever. That's not a problem. Can I also just plug real quick? My oh yeah, music video? no, you're, you're right. I, I think everyone understands. There was another comment. Wait, trying can to find my music video. Yeah, 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 of course. My music oh. video, 2005 by Sadboy 2005. Our debut album is out now. It is an homage to Bowling for Soup's 1985. We pay homage to fans of 2005. Yeah, oh. it's my emo thing. You're refusing to say it. I didn't actually see the video, so but I'm assuming it's uh, my Somebody chemical romance. Yes. Who is it? Who is it? My oh, yeah, you didn't see the oh, video. I don't. I, I video. literally, my chemical romance literally means nothing to me. They're like the kings of that. My Chemical Romance? I, like, actually could cry, but I'm not going to, so let's just move on, honestly, because, wow, I'm like, whew, the oh my, God. my existence got destroyed. <laughs> Do you see my, like, shoes? Like, this is him. This is Gerard Way, so long and good night. Like, what's this... his deal? Why is he, what's his, are those custom made like that, or do you draw yeah. them? Can someone let me know a My Chemical Romance song? I don't think I've ever heard them in my entire life. I feel like they would sing like this. Am I accurate? 
Welcome to the Black Parade. Yes, exactly. Ah, I did a good job. Thank you. Uh, and then it has my favorite lyrics, The Long Good Night from the music video we recreated. With my friend Imogen people. loves them and went to see them in concert, and like it was the best day of her entire life. So shout out Imogen. Elena. And it's just so, <clears throat> he's just so powerful. Like the way he like sings and like the words, what? like what he wrote. I just, I like Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge was like the only reason I survived 2005. Like I just, I love him so much. And I was offered to go see, oh God, it's going to make me emotional. Uh, I was offered to go see him last 2019, December 2019. They did their first comeback show in like 20, like 15 years or whatever, or like 10 years. And I didn't go because I was like too nervous to even meet him. Like really? I didn't even want to be in the Holy same shit. breathing space. He's your him. favorite person. He's my favorite person. I bought all four nights to the forum. They were supposed to be on tour this year, uh huh? And then I was gonna be front row. I went. To, I had all tickets to every single show in 2020. We're getting it. Like we get. Like they're hopefully gonna do it in 2021. But I went. To, I bought tickets for every single show. Boston, Austin. Like I, like all the shows they were gonna be. Houston, sorry, not Austin. Boston, uh, Moses, do you love this stuff? Yeah. Well, I think it's like... Is he, he playing it up for you? He must be. He, gets, he lets me play it. You know, on the way to our proposal, he's like, you can play all of my Chemical Romance songs you want. And so all the way out, I was I, I was shocked. I was like, oh my God. That's cute. Moses still creeps me out, but that's cute. You know, what does my Chemical Romance mean? Like a drug addiction? What does that mean? I don't really know where they got their name from. No, uh, I think he... No, I don't think it's that. But you know what I love about Gerard Way is he struggled with like gender and stuff like that too. He didn't know if he was like trans. Like mm. He's very like fluid. He's very just like... I just love him and not in a way that I want to like bang. It was like not that Do you mind if I eat a terror top? Yeah, anyway, it's fine. Oh yeah, this was during the era of Trisha saying she identified as they, them, and non-binary. And then a couple months later, she walked back and it was like, no, I've always been female. Whatever works with the trans, right, Trish? I like I can meet Adam Sandler and hang out with him and be friends. Like I think that in my head, but Gerard, I can't. He's like a god. He's like mm. someone I can't touch. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm cosplaying today from the Danger Days era. I really love Gerard. He's my inspiration. Do you want to see that I look like him? Or no, you don't care. I mean, <laughs> no, well, let, let's finish okay, this okay. thought. Okay. And, I and we do have a lot to get to. to this be is my. This is this is the look that I was going for today. Don't you think I kind of look like him? Well, I mean, that's like. Oh yeah, that, yeah, know. I get it. Okay. I mean, you definitely nailed the look. I didn't get the reference, but now I see you nailed He's it. He's the whole reason I started Sad Boy 2005. Like all our songs, those are like that's like an homage song, but we actually have like a really good song coming up. Like Mulholland Drive comes out next week, and I'm like that's like really good, and like he just really. Okay, 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 okay. Can you check out sadboy2005.com and link it, and also can you guys check out my music video because this is all I got going for me. For Sad Boy 2005. Thank you. Spoiler: Nobody did. Spoiler: Nobody did. Nobody did. To show our girls some love. We have a Care Bears drop. Can I plug a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the show plugging. We literally have so much good stuff to I talk know, about. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm just saying. I gotta plug. I don't myself. have much stuff to plug ever. This next week is my only pizza. You can't. I feel like I comments. It's so good. I thought it was fun. Hold on. Literally liked it because I liked it. He was talking about Care Bears. Um, so do you work at Domino's? But it's so funny that you're pretending to work at Domino's. Mm -hmm. What? Oh my god, this is funny because this is something Trish is getting called out for now, which is making fun of... I was only skipping Ethan talking about Teddy Fresh as well. Um, Trisha is currently talking about, you know, working at all these different, you know, fast food places and she's getting called out for it and people aren't taking it well because she's going in and filming fucking TikToks with the, like, workers who are just getting paid minimum wage and hit, like, the fucking job. She's there doing that and making thousands off of it. Um... This is funny that this is um, a situation that was brought up during Frenemies, too. It's not so much a pretend. It's like a cosplay. I mean, I cosplay Maui from Moana. It doesn't mean I'm him. You know what I mean? It's like right. a cosplay Elvis. I'm not Elvis I guess it's him. a weird cosplay, but it's funny. I love it. Like, I was the right people. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fastest thing I've ever... I wouldn't say it's funny. I mean, there's... I mean, you know, maybe the first time I seen Trisha dressed up as a Starbucks worker, I was like, oh, that's... You know, that's... Stupid. <laughs> And then she did it again, and again, and again, and again. Oh my God, fantastic! A regular. I left. Did you do that? Yeah, we did. <laughs> but Eugenia wasn't live. Thank you so much, fantastic. Then she did it again, and again, and again. And it was just like this isn't funny, and this is just coming across really fucking annoying. Forgotten. Well people like took, you know when people like grab onto something kind of like the snaps like i thought it, this was super to me it wasn't funny, funny but like people kind of like ran with it and I was like, All right, it was so funny dude well i like that's cool i like that and also like the domino thing to me like it wasn't like that funny i wore the shirt originally in a mukbang where i had no makeup on like i wasn't trying to be funny i just like the shirt because i love dominoes but it's like bam merch it's like wearing patty fresh my chemical romance like you know what i mean it's like I just like Domino's, so I was just supporting it. My yeah. favorite thing is getting the Domino's pizza from the driver. Because he's always like, oh, you got the black shirt. <laughs> they get so excited. The black shirt's for managers, I learned from you. Well, he told me. My driver told me. Oh. He was like, I was like, I want a blue one like yours. They get so excited, she says about the worker, when seeing Trisha in full fucking Domino's cosplay. 
they get so excited. And then he's like, oh, no, but you're the manager. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. Dude, where'd you get the gear? Did you that was eBay. But That's awesome. Someone sent me their blue shirt. Um, This guy on TikTok sent me his blue so shirt. So you want to be the manager? Um, I'll have to humble myself someday. Right, 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 right. And then I got a red shirt off eBay, but everyone's like, oh, we never saw that shirt. So I don't know. I don't know where the red Maybe you should just, I, I thought it was funny, the idea of you delivering pizzas in your pink Rolls Royce. Can I tell you, I've been mistaken three times for a postmate in my pink Rolls Royce. Are you serious? I picked up my mom one time to go to the hospital, and this was around Christmas time, and I had just eaten Chick-fil-A, but my mom was, like, literally about to die, so I was like, oh, shit, I gotta go get my mom, so I had the Chick-fil-A in my passenger seat, and I'm waiting for my mom, she lives in, like, an apartment complex, and I have my doors open, and the guy looks in and sees the Chick-fil-A, I'm asleep. he's like, oh, for Chris, and I was like, what? Like, I'm waiting for my mom, I was like, no, he's like, Chick-fil-A, Postmates, that's my order, I was like, no! What? <laughs> you should have just given it to him. It was eaten. It was trash. I already ate on the way there, so it was Exactly. Trash. You should have given it to him. There you go. <laughs> wow. It was, it was so weird, and that happened twice to me, and I was like, I, I You ever mean, be like, do you see the car, No, man? I'm not that Hello, do you know who I am? Sorry, I'm not even cracking a smile. Sorry, I just realized... I just realized that I'm watching this with, like, a straight face, but I think I just know Trisha so well, knowing that anything she says, I, like, don't take seriously. I'm like, oh, she's lying. She's lying. That was the only reason. I'm not normally this boring or bitter i promise i just think she's lying so i just didn't have any reaction i promise look there's a smile even with teeth there's a smile mouth open um, I mean, how do I make payments on it? I gotta do something, you know what I mean? I gotta hustle. Dude, you gotta do a lot of post <laughs> So You pay for that card. Well, I, it's, you know, but like, JoJo Siwa texted me, I was like, do you work at Domino's? Like, people legitimately thought Not that. Not JoJo. Like, they, like, they say, dead ass, do you work at Domino's? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, I, it's fine, it's fine. I think it's okay. funny that people really, hmm. I would love to do that. Can we do that segment, go work at Domino's for a day? We could try. I think they should be paying you. I, I fucking know. hated when they did these fucking stupid ass episodes where they would eat food during the middle of it because Ethan fucking is so disgusting whenever he eats food. I mean, so is Trisha too, but she never normally eats on camera. The way he fucking gnaws down food into the fucking mic. Thank God for Dan, who would always be like, stop. It's so gross. It's, thank you, Emma. It's so fucking gross. I hate when anyone eats in general, but there's something so obnoxious about Ethan doing it. He's so obnoxious when he does it. Into the mic, loud, wet, crunchy. It makes me hate people like no other. This is no shade to Ethan. This is so unrelated to him as a person, but like, it's one of the things people can do that really pisses me off. Just like, stop eating like that. Stop eating on thing. I don't need to get paid. I'll pay them to go do that. Like, You'll pay. And anyone who eats with their mouth open, fucking pig. That's about anyone. I say that to my father <laughs> as well. Hey, the man. kitchen? Well, just buy a pig. Just here's who what the, you do. Who <laughs> the fuck, as an adult, eats with their mouth open? Grow the fuck up. This isn't just dissing Ethan. I say this to my father. You, a grown man, and you're... Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is bomb. Let's get a police radio. Or Look at Trisha it. going away from the mic when she eats it with her mouth closed. Thank you. Domino's. Intercept Thank you, Trish. Halfway. And then somehow get the pizza and complete the... Or here what we do. Follow <laughs> delivery... If this continues, I will rage quit man around mm. as he gets to the house just say hey that's for me i'll take it oh i never thought about that do you think people do that like intercept a pizza like that i think it maybe probably has been done in the history of pizza delivery wow but it's wait does trish have a capri song then you i don't know no but domino's is contactless meaning you can't oh uh, here he him. goes you again you can't grab the box from the guy he has to put it down. oh mouth is closed this time you. Mm. like you can't just grab wow. it hand anymore because it's manners have came this time convince him wow Maybe I'm wearing the manager shirt. Excuse oh, the me. Are... I order you. All right. Anyway, we, we, we're wasting too much time here. I love that topic. That's funny. That's a no. That's so funny. That too. We have so up. much to but talk it's about. It's not that funny. People are, I mean, I appreciate that. People it is funny. funny. It is funny. Wow. But this is how I'm just so not like, I don't consider myself a comedian because it's like, to me, that's like not funny. I tell him all the time, don't try and be funny because he's funnier when you don't Bro, try and be funny. But I you literally made a video about. being like, let me pull it up because I thought this one was so funny too. I was like, Sorry. Oh, I can't even focus on what they're saying. This is a genius. This is like a fuck. I, I wish I thought of this. 
to go like pretend to be working at Domino's. Like it's just so funny. And then do a shirt, eBay. There's something so unfunny about it, though. Right? Is it funny, Trisha dressing up in like work uniforms? I think it was funny when I saw it the first time she did it with Starbucks. Then when she kept doing it, I was like. Ha ha. Like, you know what I mean? And then you were like, we're selling it too. Like this one here. I wasn't really. Bro, you were totally selling it. Where's the one where you're sitting in the car? Hang on. This one maybe? No, not this one. What are you thinking of? Wait, Trisha chews really delicately and I appreciate that. She's going like this. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, sister. So, yeah. There's one where you're talking about the manager's shirt colors. Which one is that? I was in black or red. Yeah, I don't see the black one. This is, I was talking about this maybe? I can't hear it, Dan. Domino's verified Twitter itself has said the blue shirts are reserved for the upper echelon of the Domino's employees. They say the red shirts are for newbies and they get schooled by the blue elders. I think this is really fun and it shows Domino's sense of humor. They also take protocol very seriously. If you don't have your hat on... It wasn't this one. Well, you were in a black, yeah. So her Where's, TikTok's oh, about is. working at Domino's, is, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Education, you don't know, so it's totally fine. But actually, the black shirts means that they are a manager at Domino's. The blue shirts are for the delivery drivers and the pizza makers. Seven hundred thousand likes on this video. Wow, how people don't react that way to her videos anymore. This is hilarious. <laughs> How do you not? That's like the funniest because shit I ever seen. People don't know. I hate that. I hate that people don't know. But I mean, again, I thank you. I honestly am not like trying to be like funny on this. I don't but... believe you. I, like, it entertains me, but Gerard Way entertains me okay. and cares, you know what I mean? But... Okay, with peace and love, we I have to move on. I hate that you said that so much on the last podcast on H3 Live. What? I've been watching H3 Live lately, and it's driving me nuts. I'm like, oh, I don't even you know, be watching it when I don't care. Why? You don't like the After Dark? Um... We obviously do. You're always watching it. When we were watching your hair by Jay, you were... <laughs> you know... was playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> if there's one thing... That'll like really expose like a nasty side of me. It's if I'm sitting next to someone who's eating and smacking their lips. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Dan. No, because they texted me. They were Dan texted me like, "Do you want to come on?" So I went to go clip, and then you guys were watching it or whatever. Or no, maybe. All right, let's move on. D'Angelo, I don't know. We have first of all, we're doing trivia. Pop culture trivia, which you're probably going to dominate me on. Oh, you already admitted this. That's kind of sad. I don't like when people already know they're going to come in with defeat, but that's I'm, I'm going to try my best. I just oh, I don't think I'm very good. I mean, you just too much. I have beat everybody that's like pop culture. Like, I don't lose ever with anything pop culture, so that's like. Dude, do you see? I am tater tot upset. Who's eating more? Close your mouth! Tater tots. I should be the competition. But you just threw three in your mouth. I'm doing one at a time. So <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, triggering. What am I? I won. Dude, you just threw like five, you just threw like a whole handful of tater tots in your mouth. So, I didn't watch it, but then I sent the screenshot to my security guard just to like be safe because I, I was like, this is like weird energy. Yeah. I sent it to him. This is after I watched the full video. So, I watched the full video, whatever, because someone else was telling me about it. And so, I watched the full video. Then at the end, that's when he's like, I'm going to like fuck you up that you're going to be anorexic or whatever he said. I don't know yeah. what he said. And my mom was going to come to my funeral or something. Hair by Jay, we're currently talking about, if I think correctly. And so, I was like, I just screenshotted that and sent it to my security guard, and then my security Oh my god, it was, because the, ne the next episode was when she turned on Shane, and this was all because of the Hair by Jay, Shane didn't stand up for her. Yes, so the Hair by Jay drama just happened at this stage. Oh, and that was one of my favorite dramas. It was one of my favorite. Security guard was like, and he's not like this, my security guard, I sent him pictures in the past, like, oh, that could be the guy, I don't think it's him. Like, he was like, oh my god, you know, that he was here twice, he had the, his car, everything. Um, and like again, my it, it, it just kind of like it freaked me out because I was home alone, was left at nine, he was coming back to like six o'clock at night, and I was like home alone. So I was like, I started having a panic attack, and then all, I remember him showing me that video of him like beating up that woman at like six legs, like just and like bragging about that. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh my god, and then you know, you start getting like paranoid or whatever. So I was having like a really big panic attack, which actually like the live helped me because I was like, can we just like calm down? Maybe it's like not as big as like I'm like thinking of it in my head. I mean, it was a nasty video, but I, I think I just never heard such like hatred. And oh then my god, it shocked up. the hell out of all of us. It was, it was crazy <laughs> to be honest. I thought when I first clicked the video, I was like, okay, what's, what's happening? She's just crying again. Yeah. But then when I watched Stop the video, eating. I was blown away yeah. by what a oh. fucking nasty dude this was. Oh, yeah. It was. <sighs> Can I watch it? Is that okay? Dan used to interrupt and be like, stop or like pull yourself away. Where is he in this episode? Why, why is Noi when Dan gets silent? Gross. Uh, yeah, like what part? Like the whole thing. Like, this whole it's so long. Well, here, I have some timestamps. Because apparently, some of the nastiest shit he said. 
Oh, I love the hair by Jay Trump. He said something like he was making fun of your suicide. Um, an ad. Yeah, yeah, like saying like, yeah, it was bad. And keep in mind, like the Vegas trip where this initially happened with me and Jeffrey and stuff, like this was after. Oh my god, this drama was so good. It was so good. Someone give me drama like this again. I will literally go on a Vegas trip with all of the commentary channels and I will fight them all just to give us the level of drama that was on this trip with Jeffrey, Hair by Jay, Rich Lux, and Trisha. So good. Oh, let's do it. Peter Mon, Rich, Spulsesh, Angelica, T Spill. Gabby Hanna, let, let's all go on, like, a girl's trip, and let's just fight the entire time. Oh, it was so good. I mean, I was Team Trisha the entire time, because it was, like, awful, but, like, it was good comedy. They said some horrible shit about, like, to jump off and, like, kill myself outside of the Vegas balcony and stuff. Like, just some, like, crazy <clears throat> shit. It was Wait, what the fuck is this video? Okay, so this guy is the original one who told me all the shit that they talked behind my back and like showed me. Oh my god, I remember this I video! Like, hey, I don't want to be involved because I was like trying to protect Jeffrey. I was scared of Jeffrey. I was trying to protect him because Shane was his friend. Like I was trying to do all that stuff, but that guy from the beginning, he has DMs for me where I said, "Don't involve me. I'm scared of Jeffrey." And like he. Anyways. Wait, what? Where's the video? Okay, here's the hair by Jay. So hair by Jay was responding to that video. No, no, no. He's okay. So I'll I'll, I'll tell you. Like. <clears throat> yeah, let's. Oh, 14 yeah. minutes. Jesus. Okay, let's see what he's. Let's see what this is. So this is hair by Jay. He's the hairdresser of Jeffree Star. <laughs> <laughs> traumatic experience with Jeffree Star in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, I haven't seen a hair by Jay video since that drama. Since that drama. Oh, mama. I have not seen hair by Jay in so long. I want to see. And him. Not so much him, actually. Oh, really? It was really? really Jeffrey talking shit and then his little, like, minions and crew, like, laughing. Those they minions. Just, like, just, like, he threw my Balenciaga in the trash. He has, I have text messages from Jeffrey that said, and I told Shane, I told everybody this as soon as I got home, that he was like, and I showed him the text message. I was like, hey, I need my Balenciaga sweatshirt because I wore something really sexy. We went on a private jet, but I bought my own ticket home because I wanted to leave early. And so I bought a Balenciaga sweatshirt because I wanted to wear it on the plane because I couldn't wear my sexy stuff. And I'm like, hey, can I just come get my Balenciaga from you guys because they would, like, ditch me for dinner. And he's like, oh, Maddie, his assistant threw it in the trash. And it was, like, a $900 what? sweatshirt. And they did. I, like, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, he no. is, he is. He the behavior so, so it's almost you... by the way, it's almost um, it's unbelievable the way you describe it. But what's crazy about this stream? Why was I not invited to the Vegas trip? Like the insane levels I would go to have been invited to this Vegas trip is crazy. You have no idea. Oh my god! Like Rich Lux was there. Why was Rich there, not me? I know I wasn't even doing, like, properly doing drama at the stage, but I would have if I knew. I would have thrown her Balenciaga in the bin. I would have known of the upcoming scandal with the children. I would have been like, dump that shit. Then I would have been ahead, ahead of my time. Common Adam L. What did I do? JK. Yeah. You can't silence me for saying the truth. It from Hair by Jay is that he literally corroborates everything you're saying. Of course. No, but not like all to it. true. That guy you saw before, he told me. Another guy, Oscar, said he doesn't mind if I say his name. Oscar Wilde, who was on that mm -hmm. trip, he's tattooed. He also Oscar confirmed Wilde. it and also said other stuff that Jeffrey continued. So the reason I didn't accept Jeffrey's apology is because he continued to talk shit and said I was on drugs, said I was on heroin to this guy, Oscar. Like, different people have said this. And of course, yeah, he confirms it here, which is something I know. He confirmed off, everything. To my face, I'm telling you, like, saying they threw my shit in the trash, like, smacking food out of my hand, like, all this stuff, like, on the trip. It was on his Snapchat. Like, it was it's awful. stuff that happened to my face. Like, but this then, is like some high school bull. Like, oh, it was. It was, it was high school fucking bullies. Yes, Gabby. Well, bullies. Oh. Why are they doing that? And that's why I left early. They ditched me for dinner. I like left early because it was. <laughs> And also, like, it just, it, I just left early. It was just, like, a lot. And then Hair by Jay specifically, like, we had worked together before, but he also just did Chrissy Teigen's hair, Kendall Jenner. Like, he does high-profile uh -huh. people. So to, like, show my phone number, it was just really... <sighs> okay, well, that was not exactly what I wanted to do with my webcam, but, I mean, if you want to do that, then great. Where did Red Bull go? I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered. Sorry, y'all. Look at me trying to get comfortable, and look what happens. The Trisha fucking voodoo. The Trisha fucking voodoo. Sorry. So much more comfortable. Weird. Just the way you talk about you. Well, but here's the thing. I never had an issue, and I'll tell you why he made this video. So I didn't really have an issue with him. The only thing was, is he overcharged me when I came back. Up until the trip, I Oh my god, about the wigs. Yeah, he like charged her like an insane amount for the wigs, right? Work. 
him for these wig prices and he's like first he said jeffrey's taking care of it but then i didn't want to like rely on that so i'm like can you just tell me how much never gave me a price never gave me a price. I mean, how much how much are the wigs never gave me a price he didn't give me a price because he always think jeffrey's taking care of it, whatever again i don't expect it i even offered for the paper hotel room the jet everything why does she look like this like this eyeshadow anyways long story short I, the minute I land back from Vegas, which is like two days earlier than them, I'm like home, whatever. He sends me an invoice. And it's a Sunday. It's the day before President's Day. And I was like, and it was overcharged. It was more than he charged me in the past. It's and the day before President's Day. Just as if like, <laughs> we all know where we were the day before President's Day. Ah, yes, Trish. That's why I asked him for the wig because it was more. And he shows it. He shows the receipts that he overcharged me. But he tries to say in the same DM that he says Jeffrey's How much did he charge you? Um, it was four thousand dollars total. Yeah, he wigs. told me that on, on the After Dark episode, but that blows my fuck. For a wig, four thousand dollars for a wig. That is a lot of trips to Paris. Four thousand dollars. If you're paying $4,000 for a wig, I believe you deserve to get scammed. Is that wrong to say? Fucking money. Oh, did you see the, did you show the receipt two, from three? last summer for a music video? He charged me $7,500 for three wigs. But his day rate is $3,000, $1,500 per wig. So he was originally charging me $1,500 per wig. Now he's charging me $2,000 per wig. So wait, do, are, do wigs really cost that much for a good wig? No. What does a good wig usually cost? Um, I mean, they can. Like, I'm not going to say no because people pay that rate. Kendall Jenner, Jeffree Star, they pay that rate. I mean, for me, I get, like... Not that this is a good wig, but I had wigs before that are good that are like 500 bucks or something. Anyways, it's fine. I don't I don't debate that. Like, I paid it before. I paid it again. I got a, my Jeffree Star wig whenever I did the Jeffree Star for Halloween. It cost me like 20 pound. No. 50 pound. It was good. It had like a lace front. It like blended well work but the fact that he charged me like an extra 500 when in the text messages himself he's like jeffrey's covering it and then the next day oh in this he says oh but jeffrey didn't cover it even though the text message says he did whatever it didn't matter and that was the whole point so when he asked me i was like oh i can transfer it but at this time i had two different bank accounts i'm like i have to wait until tomorrow to transfer it he like blew up my phone constantly like are you sending money are you sending money the next day was president's day so it didn't go through and he was, was, you know whatever he's just and, but regardless i paid him on tuesday four thousand dollars over he overcharged me by thousand dollars and i paid him and that was it that was nothing mm -hmm. yet this was brought up because in a mukbang recently that I did, because, you know, we had talked about Jeffrey on the show, and I was like, maybe I was, like, too hard on him because Shane is in my ear telling me, Jeffrey's all alone, he's so sad, he has nobody, and so I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, so this was the start of the Shane draggings where she was, like, leaking information about Shane. You know, Shane's in her ear talking all this shit. I loved it. I loved when Trisha turned on Shane. I thought it was so funny. I thought it was so funny. Uh, maybe I'm, like, too hard on him, you know what I mean, on Jeffrey. So in the mukbang, I'm, like, rationalizing this. I know, I'm, like, I know Jeffrey comes from, like, a hard background, like, all this stuff. And I said, you know, on the Vegas trip, maybe was like, you know, he's just, you know, he's so used to getting bullied. He bullied me or whatever. And so I'm trying to rationalize this in my head. I said, but the only thing that kind of bothered me, I didn't say his name. I said, the person doing our wigs overcharged me. That's all I said. You I didn't even call him out. I didn't call him out. I didn't say his name. I wasn't even mad. I was mm -hmm. like, it just kind of felt weird. It like rubbed me the wrong way after I asked him so many times, whatever. Um, and that's all I said. And then I saw this. He did right after and this huge like 38 minute live. And I just saw a little bit until I saw like the, and then I watched the full thing on Friday when I made the video. And it just like triggered me all over again. Just cause, like, Dude, it was so nasty. And by the way, his justification, because, like, I've never hated anybody as much as this guy hates you. Oh. I've never seen anyone so yeah. nasty to another person, especially online. No. Oh, the Hair by Jay draggings were insane. I was so against Hair by Jay. My videos against Hair by Jay were insane. I was, like, so pissed off at Hair by Jay. I despised Hair by Jay because Hair by Jay was so wrong in that situation beyond words. Like, beyond words. Like, people didn't even need to, like, Trisha Paytas to, like think that hair by jay was so fucked up in that like hair by jay was the devil he was just like like not even mean but just like ruthlessly horrid and evil hurting yourself his justification was that um jeffrey brought you on that trip <laughs> so you shouldn't complain and two that you were boring that was that was the first time i heard that one which i understood because i didn't go to the clubs with them I was like, okay, okay but so that's what I'm saying. It's such me. That's why I never was like trying to cancel Jeffrey. I never did an explode. That's also so sad that like because she didn't want to go clubbing with them, they started calling her boring. Like that is such a fucking rude, stupid, nasty thing to say as well. Especially like forcing someone to like go to like a club or go to like a bar or something like that. Like it's really like I think it's oh, just video, a nasty like, thing. This is just mean girl shit. It's not something that I feel like you need to cancel somebody for. That's the only reason. I How old is Jeffrey? Can someone look that up? He's like 35 or 36. He's older than me. Oh, and she had that older like, than me. Quick, yeah. not young. She said older than me very quick. She went, I know this one. 35, and he's criticizing you for being boring. 
And then I have horrible skin. Jay criticizes me because I said I was going to wear my natural hair out and I didn't need to do my wig because we were running late. And he's like, oh my, he was like mocking me because I was like fine with wearing my natural hair. He's like, she had, cr she had nasty ass hair. I was like, oh, like, it's so weird. Like you're embarrassing them by not... I guess. Out. I don't know. It was so weird. I had makeup on when I went on the plane. Like, I don't know. Oh, also, they were making fun of you because you asked the price of a Balenciaga oh, yeah. bag. Yeah, like, we don't Which, have by the way, I'm fucking. I'm pretty rich by most people's standards. I wouldn't Fuck buy Balenciaga. Fuck Balenciaga. Like, that shit costs like eight thousand dollars. It was crazy. And so when I bought the Balenciaga, I bought it, and he like, oh, we'll just have it sent up to my room. Why did Shane not stand up for her? Well, that was the reason that she then. Um, turned against Shane because Shane didn't stand up for her in the full thing and Shane was like oh you need to just get over it with Jeffrey that was what started it like this was the official beginning of the downfall of Trishy Fishy and um, Shinnessy uh, Dussy and that's how he threw it in the trash because oh can I clarify something bro that is on let me clarify this so he, I had the text message I showed Shane I showed everybody the text messages after it happened so I was like shaking when I came back because there was a lot of triggering stuff yeah. like you should just jump off the balcony like crazy shit like that and I was just like okay it was just like a lot being on drugs this other kid on the trip well, anyways so but here's the thing so two months later after I'm sure Jeffrey caught wind that I started telling probably Shane Shane probably mm -hmm. told Jeffrey all of a sudden, his makeup artist, Boomcat, who I don't know or anything like that, he texted me, oh, babe, I have your Balenciaga. I've had it in my car for months. Like, can I can I Uber it to you? What? And then I got the Balenciaga, like, two months later. You think they just bought a new one? Or he gave it to him? Either gave it to him, or I don't know. Sketchy, either way. Stole it. Yeah, I was, I was, it was, that to me was, like, and then it was, it was so, that it was is, more than a sweatshirt. That, I had sweatshirt, I had shoes. It was, like, a couple thousand dollars. And, like, I, like, yeah, I made, like. Hello, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Money to justify <laughs> ask, wanting your fucking property. There was so many just like, uh, that trip was like awful like from so basically the cracks are are forming about trisha alluding to shane leaking stories to jeffrey that would then get jeffrey out of drama with trisha which was that you know shane told jeffrey that trisha is on to him about allegedly stealing a bag and then the next day the bag shows up to her so this is really when the crack started showing with Shane. This was it's actually really interesting to watch back because I think in the moment it was so quick and so shocking, but now it's interesting to be like that was the reason it happened, you know, like all these different things. And I mean, I'm completely team Trisha still in the Shane thing. I'm not the biggest fan of Trisha Paytas, but I mean, chat, let me know what your opinion is, but like this was really the moment where I think things for Shane were like irreversible because I feel that when Shane got cancelled, a lot of his fans were like, oh, he can't be the worst because at least Trisha's still his friend. Like, that's one of his main friends. Hasn't left him. Then when Trisha left him, it was like, fuck me, what's nigh? Beginning to start, like, just awful. And they were just awful. And I was just like, you know... And to me, like, I always thought I was hard on Jeffrey because, like, that is a classic example of someone who was just bullied and everyone, like, he always talks about how people call him the F word and all stuff. He's like, oh, look at me now. Like, well, you know, all stuff like that because I think he, like, was bullied so hard. But, like, at the state, because that's what it feels like. And, and they bully Jay. So I think that's where Jay's coming from. Really? Because, they do? Oh, he would tell him to, like, move what speed, a, sit uh, in the back. Like, uh, yes, I remember one time he had Boom Cap, like, fish out a French fry in his car. He's like, while well, we went to eat, he's like, go look for that French fry I dropped. Like, just, like, really nasty shit. And I hope you don't that. I hope you don't a lot. But here's God, the thing. Jeffrey I don't is a need anybody. Monster, I don't bro. want to. It, it, it was awful. It was. Ew, what a psycho. Well, it's just like Mean Girl. And like I said, do I think like people should well, stop buying his makeup? I'm like, I don't know. He's just not a good person to me. Like, I just, Yeah, like, and just Jeffrey like... hated frenemies. Like, Jeffrey was so against frenemies. Like, obviously because Trisha was exposing him so hard. Uh, Jeffrey was trying to get frenemies shut down, apparently, behind the scenes is what I heard, allegedly, for a long time. Like, he was, he was so over it and so saying too much. I don't know if that's true or whatever, but it is something that, like, in the moment was being said behind the scenes that he was trying to get Trisha to shut the fuck up. Well, nice, that makes but... sense. That actually does suffice his behavior because he acts like, oh, well, you shouldn't complain about Jeffrey because he did all this stuff for you. And it's like, bro, you're his fucking hairdresser. You're his servant. Yeah. The only reason he brought you is to fucking serve him. Oh, I mean, he doesn't treat them nicely. Like, it just wasn't. And, I don't and know about why, that I, terminology. And, 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 you know, in this video, Jay goes, but you know what? If we call her to hang out, she hang out with her. <clears throat> Jeffrey's called me multiple times to come over to his house, and I'm like, no, thank you. Like, I, I politely decline. Like, Dude, I just Jay, have Jay, he's not your friend. You're his hairdresser. He he just uses you for your service, bro. Well, did you see Jeffrey tweeted that he goes, good morning to everyone except the guy who used to do my yeah. hair. So, obviously but you know this comes so yeah jeffrey tweeted good morning to everyone except the guy who used to do my hair publicly alluding to the fact that he um fired hair by jay but then a couple months later hired him back again after the drama died down the ever so ethical jeffrey star comes from i know they talk about this shit because like him insulting me by renting my house and not buying it which I'm... He, he was I know oh my god the jeffrey, renting versus buying drama of course 
course. He's lit- you can tell he's only doing this because he wants to please This Jeffrey. is an extreme example, but it does, like, it's, like, very much, like, Manson cult vibes. Like, Manson didn't do anything, but people are like, oh, you want us to go kill somebody? Like, okay, I you think know what I mean? He, think he's just rich, and they want a piece of the action. And Who remembers that drama with the renting versus buying the house? Where Trisha was saying that Jeffrey was bullying her because she rents her house instead of buys it. Oh my god, that was an insane drama where everyone was team Trisha. So they they they, they don't want to do anything. They want to they want to be a part of that. That's like I always keep saying this while saying it's like devil shit. It's like when you sell your soul for money or abuse. It's like that's to me. It's so gross. And I never would do it. I never would do it. I think it's nasty. I think this is the kind of shit that comes out from it. And it like incites stuff. Like he, it just it's bad. It's, it's bad energy. So, I felt really bad energy after all this. I was like, oh, this does not feel good. So let me watch this because after I watch this, I want to see. I want to know how Shane and Jeffrey reacted. These motherfuckers are. Oh my and god. Normally you don't like to speak up on them, but they're fucking lucky that Jeffrey's actually a nice person. They're taking advantage <clears throat> that Jeffrey's not about airy people out anymore. Okay. Aww. Dude, this guy is so far what? up Jeffrey's ass. What what was he airing me out for? For him being a shitty person? For like, stealing your hoodie? <laughs> that I, like, protected him. For and like, yeah, For, like, def- like, yeah, I don't want that. What? Like, like, bro, can you try not to be such a fucking, like, simp? I know. I just... Like, Holy shit. And by the way, the fact that he's doing all this while someone's working on his hair, like, <laughs> like, he is saying the meanest shit ever, and this girl is literally <laughs> doing his hair. Oh, she's not cat. She's also, like, laughing, and she's also not skinning herself, and I'm not bashing her, but it's like, really? Like, you're gonna laugh at you're gonna make fun of someone's weight while someone behind you is heavy set? Like, she's probably scared. He's like, this guy's fucking crazy. He's gonna wrap this up and get out of there. He's lucky he's a nice person. How are you gonna talk about a person? Turn up a bit, yeah. You got in a private. Oh, this hair by J drama was so good. I took it for granted. It was so good. Hair by J, can you start doing this shit again? It was so good. Props off. Hats off to the chef. I mean, amazing work, hair by J. Shit. That was paid for. You didn't spend Oh, you were uh, putting me in a private private jet? Okay, you can just shit my fucking open mouth then. It's like, who cares? You flew, you bought me a ticket. Big fucking deal. I was like, what? You can buy a private jet in Vegas for $10,000. It's like not that expensive. Like, 10000 You can get a plane <laughs> ticket for like two. Not that expensive. $10,000. Well, I'm just going to let that comment slide, Trishy. I mean, no, like a private jet. He got okay, <laughs> who fucking cares? That doesn't justify you being a douche. It's so, that's so bizarre to me. But that, like, that's how okay. they think in their world, in the world of Jeffree Star. It's like, okay, I pay you and you're my man toy. He wanted, you're my monkey. <laughs> dance. That's literally what I thought. And I was just like, it, we got, it was, it, I go to Bora Bora first class, France first class, like Greece. I paid for all those trips. Like, I don't need this trip to Vegas. Like, that's very. But who cares? Also, it's like a 45 minute flight. It's like. <laughs> and, um, Dude, it's not okay. It's crazy. It, it really, it really exposing him and Jeffree's worldviews. This yeah. to me is the closest glimpse we've seen of actually who Jeffree Star is. Yeah. Through this guy. Yeah. I mean, he was just in like Wyoming with him, you know, like a, like a few days prior. Like he's like, this, this is someone that's close in his circle. It's like, and Jeffrey originally was like somewhat defending him until he got more backlash and then he's like, okay, I'm on, I'm, now he's going to be fine. Yeah. I mean, that is such a good point that like Jeffrey literally was number one silent, but number two willing to like die on the bridge that Hair by Jay and him had done nothing wrong until Trisha you know, really got the best of them. Um, I think it was just, like, being silent was comfortable until Frenemies, general public, sided with Trisha and Hair by Jay and Jeffrey were the villains. And Jeffrey was not going to allow someone else to make him the villain anymore, apparently. And that's why Hair by Jay went... (laughs) And Jeffrey was like, fuck him! And then hired him back again when the drama passed. Lord. To everyone but this hair guy. But before that, he's like, girl, keep this online. Love you. Like, just right, so right. condescending. And I was like, like, I want to get involved. Yeah. Ah, uh, just so disgusting. And it was, it was like, honestly, the most traumatizing thing. Like, seeing him in that light and just, like, so, like telling people to, like, jump off the ledge. Just, like, just really, like, gross shit. And oh, I was, like, so yikes. Like, it was something that was still eating me a year later, which is why I was, like, rationally in my head. It's something that all the people close to me know that it, like, really affected me. And then Jeffrey told Oscar that I, like, when I bought my pink rolls right, I sent a text to Jeffrey, like, and I was like, oh, now am I you yet? Like, something, like, whatever. And he's like, oh, my God, how pathetic that she wants to be me. It's like, yeah, I, like, admired yeah, yeah. you. Like, I thought he was cool. He had a cool house and he had a makeup company. And I was like. I think the way Trisha was referencing this, which is like, yeah, like, of course I want to be like Jeffrey. And I love him so much. Made it seem like, oh, my God, you know, Jeffrey's even more of a bully because look how nice Trisha is being about him. So I think as well, she was, like, very much so feeding into the narrative of, like, oh, per Trish. Why are you making fun of someone who, like, wanted to be like you? Talk like, to, by the way, and sorry, you're the fucking hairdresser that literally follows him around and tap dances whenever he wants you to. Oh, like, sorry, bro. You're, hours around you are such a jealous little bitch. Mm. Fuck this guy. And fuck, that's why I saw this and I was like, fuck Jeffree Star. Fuck this hair by Jay guy. You know what? Fuck them all. It's because my issue was with Jeffrey saying all this shit and now I'm not seeing that he like confirmed this but he's trying to stand up for Jeffrey and it's like weird Well, it's, it's good in a way he did this because it really exposed Jeffrey. 
Okay. Your He's fucking so room was paid for. Oh my god, this he life. Paid for the fucking concert to go see Mariah Carey. Who gives a They went to Mariah Carey! Without me! Oh, it just gets worse. Just gets worse. Uh, that doesn't justify being a bully. For the, for the restaurant. And you're right, bitch. You were such a boring time. Okay, so he says... <clears throat> I, I, it's hard to even believe this person's real. He says, we bought, bought you all this stuff and you were such a boring time. So that just... What did Hair by Jay buy? Nothing. I mean, Jeffrey bought it all. Buys us all <laughs> you. Like, hello. It's, it's so insane. It's crazy. What, what did they mean you were a boring time? What were you expected to go out there and tap dance for them? I You're don't the know. entertainment or something? I guess because like, I went to the shows, but like they ditched me for dinner. And then when they went to a club, I just didn't go with them because I don't go to clubs. I guess that's it because I don't want to go clubbing with them. That's sad. I went shopping with them. The I would shop with them, and they would all like go and like they would all ditch me behind. So I went back to my hotel room. Like they, it was awful. It was like the worst time ever. Like they were so fucking mean. Crazy. You were such a boring time. You were so negative. Uh, I remember he even checked it like, yo, what is wrong with you, bro? We're trying to make you feel better. Because she's uh, like, um, we were like, hey, we have to leave by nine o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Like I'll put Trisha's wake first, and then I'll put Trisha. Oh no, 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 we don't have time for my. I literally will go out like this. I don't care. Like you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm dumb fuck. fuck. Of course, what like. How is that a criticism that you wanted to go out natural? So, okay, so again, this goes throws back to them saying, like, Jeffrey's taking care of your wigs and all that. So, like, he was like, I'll do, like, I'll do your wig. And I was like, if there's no time, don't worry. Because in my head... You're just trying to be nice. Right, because I'm like, Jeffrey's paying for him to be here. Because he never, like, did, he never, like, did anything with my wigs. And I was like, oh, Jeffrey's paying him to be here. Like, if you just want to do Jeffrey's, it's fine. I'll go out like this. It's not a big deal because yeah. I'm running late. So, like, that was so weird. I'm like, just because I wanted to go out with my natural You were just hair. trying to be nice. Literally, because I thought, oh, and I don't want to step on Jeffrey's toes with his glam team. Like, so, like, hierarchy and just, like, mean girl, like, catty, really bitchy i mean this was really one of the main downfalls of jeffrey i mean there were so many things don't get me wrong um with jeffrey that people were calling him out for but this was definitely one of the ones where people were like the general public were like i can excuse racism but being a mean girl i can't it was like wow it took you this you know long um this was definitely a moment where people were like wow he's like a, a mean mean girl and apparently that's worse than you know being a racist and homophobe and whatever um, so this was really the moment for people that really turned Jeffrey off from them. You know, I was not like... But either way, why do you care that much? Why are you so angry about it? Like, she's a hot chick. Four, three, two... I'm like, 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 I'm He's so fucking lucky he does not air this bitch out. Nobody in your life even looks like we're taking care of you. What's the problem? Yeah. It's people get upset when they have something good. Here you're trying to analyze. And then they do some new brain cells. Don't think too hard. I know. We talked about your skin, bitch. But your fucking skin looks like shit till this day a whole year later, bitch. Oh, yeah, this guy wasn't mean to you. This guy's not a bully. And it is a bully, but he's like, I had no problems with such people. It's like, it sounds like This is the meanest shit I've ever heard in my life. Like, I, I'm sorry, I have to go back to the target. Yeah, this was so... I felt so bad for Trisha here. I mean, this is like, I'm also aware of this is the episode where she talks about Mr. Riney. So, like, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I have my guard up a little bit. But, like, I mean, this Hair by Jay situation, I was I was 100% Team Trisha. I was 100% Team Trisha. Oh, it's so rude. It, so hateful. I was, I'm so shook by it. He's like, yeah, we did make fun of your skin. Look at it now, it's still yeah, good, bitch. Like, holy <laughs> fuck, dude. This, you are such a piece of shit. You're like a fabled piece of shit, dude. High He's school so fucking This is why. Nice one to fuck up right with. Right. <laughs> you know what's, so, what's the problem? It's people get upset. There he is, trying to be when they have People get upset. <laughs> good. He didn't even finish his thought. And then they do something stupid. We talked about your skin, bitch. But your fucking skin looks like shit till this day a whole year later, bitch. Oh my god. Bro, first of all, you know that like having bad skin isn't a personality defect, right? It's genetic, and it's, most people can't control that. But like skin. the anger with that, like, look at your fucking skin. Also, like, you're like 38. What the fuck are you talking about people's skin like that? So. I'm blown away. So, Jeffrey, like the drug thing, saying I was on By the way, that. your skin is, is nice. Um, your skin is not bad. Is not bad. Just so you don't feel bad about that. Yeah, well, there's definitely something wrong with my skin now. My skin, then, I mean, I was. I And Jeffrey knew this, and everyone knew this, so that's that. They know you're insecure about it, so they're like, well, fuck you. And I, did, I was on that drug binge. Like, Jacqueline Hill, their husband, was out, and we did a bunch of drugs, and everyone saw it, like, online. Like, I was I, I was just coming off of, like, a really high, like, meth binge. Oh. Like, so my skin was, like, horrible. And, like, I, I opened up Jeffrey days prior to this trip, which is why he came on the trip. I was over to myself, myself, and I was just like, yeah, like, my body's fucked up from, like, drugs. My skin's fucked up. So when I take drugs, I, like, I, I can't be an addict because I fucking, like, my skin was horrible. And he's like, oh my God, like, no, like that, you know, like, you're breaking. So, what, the best thing he did was invite her to Vegas and, and make fun of her for not coming out clubbing after? 
am I missing something? You're like getting so worked over the fact that they're like making fun of my skin like after this like huge binge. I was just like, what the fuck? Oh, and this was like, okay. and I was like shaking still from it. Like I was like, I don't know. It was like crazy. He's, like you need to come to Vegas and like get away from it. Like that's why he invited me on the trip and then to invite me and be like her skin shit. I mean, it was like so. It was crazy. And even now I'm like going through something, which is why my skin is nasty. Like, like it's okay. You don't want to come closet. Why don't you just stay in the hotel and relax? Yeah. Bitch, you are fucking boring and your skin is nasty. I'm yeah. not throwing away your hoodie. It's like, uh, oh. It was crazy. I, I, I was blown away. And he told Jack, told everyone I was on drugs. His kid asked her, he's like, yeah, she's on drugs. We had to send her home. Like, I had to oh. pick her private, like, she went to send her home because she was just doing too many drugs around us. And we had to pick her private Jack she was a danger to herself. And I was like, oh. what? Like, it was so weird. Are you saying something now? I just wanted to clarify. Did you say you were just coming off of a, a drug binge and they <laughs> wanted to help you by taking you to Vegas to go clubbing? <laughs> yeah. Well, what I, I, I said. That's the worst thing I could think of. So, <laughs> coming off well, of so the, and he didn't, he's like, oh, I don't party. I told him, I said, I, I tell everybody to go to Vegas. I am not fun. Like, anything I do, I go to Donny Osman and I, like, go eat and I go back to the hotel. That's my always my Vegas. I vlog for this. So he's like, no, 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 we're going to be so chill. We're going to just go see Gwen Stefani, meet her, and then that's it. We're coming home right away. It turned into a four day, like, club thing. And I'm like, I don't want to go to the club. They had, like, a bunch of random people I didn't know. Like, it was just, like, not my thing. Well, okay, so what? You want to chill in your room? Why should, that, why should they be so Which, offended by that? I don't know. And I, like, offered to pay for that too. It was a I mean, this isn't something she really has to explain at all. You know, about not wanting to go out clubbing and stuff, especially after coming off that binge, you know, allegedly. It's a seventy dollar room. I can afford that. I'm not that poor. <laughs> so I rent my house. Uh, excuse me. You had to look at the price of a Benciaga bag. I was, you broke, bitch. Well, did you see Rich Lux's video? Do you know him? He's like a drama channel, and he was also there. And they made fun of him. He brought a gift to Jeffrey from Hermes for four hundred dollars. They laughed at it because it was the cheapest thing in the store. And Rich Lux just made a video like a couple days ago, being like he was trying to defend Jeffrey, and he's like that was some fucked up shit. Oh, this up. guy is such a piece like, of shit. Financial shaming is like God, but, you know like, who dude, does Jeffrey Star Cosmetics? They work like minimum wage and save up their out. The thought of anybody bringing someone a gift and then making fun of it because it's, like, not bougie enough is so sad. It's, like, so sad. Or is it the buy a set oh, price palette? Your palette sucks. The orgy one was fucking suck. I, I even said in the review, I was like, oh, this must be a cheaper palette. And I was like, that's the most best one yet. So, like, fucking, like, remember who, like, pays your bills? Sorry, but I don't give a shit who you are. Why are you... Bro, and by the way, I just, I just, I can't. Believe, by the way, hair by Jay is not a millionaire. The dude's a fucking hairdresser. <laughs> right. Like maybe, bro, bro, if anybody should be looking at the price of Balenciaga bags, it's you, dude. Trust me. You should, you want to be saving that money. Uh, yeah. Especially now that everyone's fucking canceling their appointments, bitch. <laughs> Fuck bullies. Wait, wait, she said that. Look, look, look at this stupid, stupid dumb yeah. bitch. She said, she said, she's saying, I'm okay again. This stupid dumb Loris looking ass bitch. Maybe she should go on a fucking diet and get back on her motherfucking brain because maybe all that fat is fucking up her fucking brain. Bro, I don't know what you're on. Something fuck up. You're oh my god, it was a lot. Yeah, it was crazy. This is just so nasty. He shows to the say. receipts of like him overcharging me. And Wait, he, he's saying you were to use him of fat shaming you and poor shaming you and, he, and like making fun of your skin. And here he's doing all those things. So many times. He like shoves food in his mouth at one point. Like, this is how he got down. He's reading my DMs where I'm like, you're so wonderful. Thank you. And he's like making fun of me eating. It's so weird. It's so odd. I got Oh my god, like, I was like, I'm so putting this up. It's crazy. It's so I hope awesome. you're not sober because if this is your sober brain, dude, I hope this isn't your like, sober brain. Damn. I had forgotten about the suicide thing. Like, I literally blacked that out because I remember, like, telling the stories. And Jeffrey, jokingly, would say stuff like, well, there's a balcony, just do it now. Like, that kind of stuff. And it's, like, I know his jokes what? are that, but it was, like, so... Because I was like, you... opening up about, like, how I was, like, how I tried, like, tried to commit suicide three times a year before, and I, like, didn't think I, like, wanted to. Like, that didn't seem like it was me. And, like, <laughs> like seeing that now, like, all those people in the room, it's, like, crazy. Because everyone in the room at the time was, like, oh, because, you know, he smokes a lot of weed, Jeffrey, and I wasn't even smoking weed because I was just, like, really, like, trying to be, like, sober or whatever. And they were just, like, all the people being, like, it's fine, like, totally, yeah, like, all this company being so fake and being, like, oh, my suicide. <laughs> it's, like, he told you there's a balcony, go jump. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like I like I'm thinking about and again it's not like it was like this aggressive way I mean I know he's like you know Jeffrey's like ha, ha, there's this one right now to go jump like that kind of stuff uh, like yeah that's not and good I, like I like <laughs> it's like, it's like I told everyone everyone close to me when I came back like my mom my sister like Shane like Ryan like everyone who I came back I like said this to them you know obviously like they told Jeffrey or something but so this was where the cracks especially start forming because she's saying that she told Shane all of this and Shane you know obviously didn't do anything with it um, that you know Jeffrey was basically telling her that you know she can you know go and you know. Um, I mean, pretty rough, awful stuff. Like, like that in particular, it's so crazy that I made fun of it. That was, like, such a real thing, and I was just like, I was, yeah, I really want to die. Like, I was, like, opening up about it, because I, like, ugh, oh, it's so awful. I didn't hear about Jay receive that as, oh, I would kill myself, oh. <laughs> That's it's crazy. Cool. It's good you don't hang out with You know guys. what's crazy, too, this is, is like, crazy. this is just an exact representation of Jeffrey, and what sucks is, like, Jeffrey will always be successful, and he'll always keep going, and he's, like, an actual bad person. Like, he's an actual bad person, and it's evident by these people, like, it comes out in them, and I'm just like, God, it sucks. And... Not to whatever, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but that's why when I saw, like, Shane and Jeffrey, or Ryan promoting Jeffrey, like, as if he's a god. So, yeah, okay, so, I mean, it was the episode after this, again, that, you know, Shane and Trisha officially ended, but you can see the cracks forming here a lot. This podcast, like, a week ago, I was like, this is an evil person, and what they said to me is like, yeah, we have to slowly distance ourselves and all this stuff like that, and they're, like, promoting him still, like, and, and so I don't think, like, cancel Jeffrey because he told me to jump off a bridge or, like, told me, like, I had bad skin, but it's like, Shane, my best friend, should at least 
maybe not associate with him publicly. Like, if you need to get that check from your pal, it's fine. But to fucking, like, it, not, not only that, he encouraged me to not make videos about Jeffrey. Don't make videos about Jeffrey and all this shit. And I was just like, I just had enough. And then when he said on this one, let's just, like, move past this and pretend like it didn't happen. When something, like, he knew this triggered me back then. It triggers me now. It's, like, literally so traumatizing. Like, seeing this, I was like, this is fucked up. Because you know what? They probably would be happy if I killed myself. Jeffrey is that person who'd be like, haha, dumb bitch died. Like, that's literally how he is. And it's like, and I think about that, and it's just like, it's fucked up. So when you came back, you told, so you came back and you said, hey, yo, Jeffrey did all this stuff. And how yeah. did he respond? Well, at the time, he was like, what? Like, he goes, oh, my God, this is, like, scary. And, like, it happened a couple times. He would say this. He's like, this is, like, scary. Like, what do we do? He's, like, the mean girl. He's, like, a villain in this movie. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I don't know how we get away from him. Like, that's how Shane was saying. And I was like, yeah. This is after the palette thing or before? This is way after the palette thing. Oh, 2018. Oh, okay, this is 2019. Okay. So this is after. He's still getting money from the palette. You know, obviously, Shane's not making videos. So he's collecting money from the palette, whatever. And I, I, I understood that to a certain degree. And I've actually never even asked him to not be friends with him. But he, his words were, like, we're going to, like, distance ourselves or whatever. Mm. So to hear fast forward to now, like Jeffrey was the only one that was loyal to me. Like I have to stick by him through all this, and I was just like, "What?" Like, so I mean, that's crazy to say. Like Shane being like, "Oh, you know, Jeffrey's the only person who's ever been loyal to me." After Trisha's like opening up about Jeffrey, literally being like, "Trisha, die." So he knew all this stuff, and then his excuse, which like set me over the edge, and why I was just like, "I, I defended him so hard," which is the only reason I made the video. Really, was just like, I can't defend this person anymore, and that's why I made it because I, I people hate me for defending him blindly, and so I just Venus I don't doll, like, thank I just you for subscribing. Like, was I just didn't want to believe what you said was true about Jeffrey, and I was like. <laughs> like as someone who like knows me so well of 12 years you met Jeffrey three years ago he needed you for redemption because he had all these horrible things against Jeffrey said he was passive on an n-word space like he has the worst shit he needed Shane's redemption yeah and so he clinged to Shane because Shane was saving everybody Jeff Tana after Tana Khan Jake Paul so Jeffrey needed Shane Shane probably wanted Jeffrey for that I mean Trisha's an awful person but what she's saying here is true thank you Venus Star. cash palette and so they have this fake ass friendship of three years I've known Shane 12 years never once asked him for anything a call nothing I don't care like nothing and so it's like how are you not gonna believe me in 12 years it was fucking insane and I'm like this, this is insane this is insane like any other time so wait, now that so back then he admitted to saying he didn't he didn't believe you. So now yeah. that the hair by Jay made this video, which pretty much confirms everything you said to him then. Have yeah. you talked to Shane about it? So he he texted me after all this. After well, actually he didn't even text me after the Jay video. He only texted because Shane was doing like insane damage control of trying to shut Trisha up. And I started talking about him, mm -hmm. and so then he was like, "Do you want to just like come over and like forget this all happened?" And I was like, "No, I like don't like." And I kept saying like, "You know, let's he talk said, forget like, all this happened." That, that was probably annoying. Well, yeah, that was the first thing. I was like, we need to talk about this later. Like, I can't talk to you right now. This is so crazy. But then... No, Ethan was lapping this up. Like, Ethan loved making fun of Shane before this. So when Trisha got on board with it, he was loving it. And I mean, of course. I mean, this these videos did insane with frenemies whenever they were talking shit about Shane and stuff. Ethan loved this. Other things, like, along the line of just... Um, I thought you and Jeffrey could work it out and that was selfish of me and just like uh, I'm working on this in therapy which is the exact same thing Jeffrey said to me which was bullshit he's like I'm working on this in therapy and then two months later telling Oscar that I'm on drugs again and that like I have all the rules to be him and that I'm pathetic and all this crazy shit and I was like it, like all that shit and I was just like these, it, it's like manipulative and I felt really grossed out by Ethan it was like, living for about Jeffrey or something like that and I was just like this is some fucked up shit Shane told you don't make videos about Jeffrey he said like you know it's better to just like not say anything right now because he's like this villain and like blah blah, blah. Like, that's what he said what because he felt bad for him he's saying what does he mean he's this villain? Originally, he didn't want me to get caught up in it. And then then, then he can testify, like, oh, in December. He was, he was trying to protect you. Not, yeah. Oh. And then in December, he's like, Jeffrey's really lonely, and he has, like, no friends right now, and they're trying to make me feel bad. And that's when I started, like, even on our esteem, he's like, I kind of feel bad for Jeffrey now. I kind of 2000, like, 2021, Trisha was ready to be Team Jeffrey. <laughs> I really was like I was like you know maybe because I don't have a lot of friends and I'm like well if Shane vouches for him then he must be okay you know that was my reasoning okay. but I was like no and I still like couldn't shake it around and I saw this literally shit really hit the fan. So wait, but... when did Shane tell you that he didn't want to believe it? Saturday. And then did he say okay? But it was that him admitting that he believes you now? Like no, he's just like I never heard Jeffrey say anything bad, so I couldn't believe what you were saying. Gross. Yeah, and that's my block his number because I was just like, like then I was like holy shit like you know me twelve years like I've never I've never liked Shane he knows every single thing about me like, um, yeah. <laughs> That sucks. I mean, I've heard shit. He's well, like, I just yeah. feel bad because I know Shane was like, I know you love Shane and you, I mean, I know he's like your best friend. I don't know. I know that his relationship to you was really important, so I felt really bad. He never offered any resolution either because we were like driving down to Anaheim, so we were texting back and forth and like, there was no resolution. Like, there was nothing just like, oh, let's just like forget about this and I'm going through therapy and I can't lose you and Jeffrey was loyal to me, so I got to stay loyal to him, like all this stuff. There was no, I, as you know, when you guys asked me about H3 Life Friday, the first thing I said was like, I don't want to be associated with Daniel Wallace and see me to hate the Like, that's how loyal I am. Like, if someone just makes a video about him, I don't want association, much less this is a person that like was. Like, literally, like, I was, like, suicidal over, and he knew about this, and he's, like, promoting him, and, like, defending him, and being, and, like, publicly having him on the... Uh, Cheeto. Oh, ironic. Oh, this is the episode where it started. Yeah. And it just gets worse from this episode on. This episode on is whenever, like, fully drama started on Frenemies. This is where, yeah, mask off is the perfect... Uh, definition. The podcast reviews for your shitty podcast to have 300,000 views. You couldn't believe the last one fucking Jeffrey talking about Kanye and how it was an imaginary dick sucking thing. Like, it was just so fucking stupid. I was like, take the dumb. I told him the podcast thing was a big issue for me a lot. Take the fucking dumb podcast down. It has three, it has 200,000 views at the time. That was so triggering to me. I kept saying that and he just kept brushing by. I reread these text messages like a thousand of times in my head before I decided to finally be like, fuck this. Like, 
It was crazy. I was, I was so, I was, and it wasn't a manic episode because the next day I woke up, I said, I don't even feel bad. Like, I felt like he did the right thing. I felt like a weight off my shoulder. Like, I was, I'm so done. I'm like defending him. Jeffrey never, he's like, he was loyal to me. Jeffrey never defended In fact, not only did Jeffrey not defend you, Shane, but Oscar Wilde, well, I can say this again because he, he told me I could say his name. He's a DJ and he was there with Jeffrey on the trip and he was there in July or in June when Shane was getting canceled. Jeffrey said, oh, how do I cut ties with him? He's like ruining my brand. Ew. So he also. So this was a big thing as well because Trisha was like exposing that Jeffrey wanted to drop Shane during the drama and controversy. Uh, so this was a big, big, big thing. This was like, oh my God, are Shane and Jeffrey going to associate with each other again? Which obviously they did because they only had each other. Talk shit about you. Oh, what a he fun. talks shit about everybody. I totally believe that he would say that. I know he does because I heard this from other, like multiple people. Like it's just, you know what I mean? It's just so, it's so gross. It's so gross to me. And I just, I, it just sucks because like there's nothing you can do. And not that I'm like trying, I honestly don't think anyone should be canceled except for Jay because like also he talks to me like what the fuck you should be working with anybody. But like, and I don't say like cancel Jeffrey. He's, he's a, he's a bad, he's an evil, he's a mean person. But support him if you want. I don't give a shit. Like, pay over, pay for that shit. I don't, it just sucks because he'll always win. He'll always win. Like, he's just going to keep winning in life. And I don't know. Like, it just sucks. It just sucks because he's just, like, not a good person. But. And I don't know. Like, for me, this was, like, I don't know. I don't know. I was happy. That was not you, were, you, know? you know what's crazy is you were the only person left on earth defending Shane. And we were, you know, I, dude. That you know? is so true. And, like, so many people were saying to Trisha, like, you've got to stop defending Shane because, like, it's all going to come back and bite you in the ass. He's not defending you. And, I mean,. Clearly, I mean, he he really dropped her at the the slightest thing. It got me supporting Shane. I was like, this is a pro Shane podcast. Yeah. But then it's funny, D'Angelo flipped me a little bit. Right, right. Yeah, you didn't get flipped, and I was still like, but you know I was what? still holding out out of respect for you. I'm not gonna go out there and say I hate Shane talking, but I'm just saying he really, he really, he really needs to respect the, like what you, how much you support him. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Because you, you know what? You support He's him so much. Never publicly defended me. Not that I've ever asked that. But the other thing was is he was like, well, the internet just gives me so much anxiety. It's like, you defended Tana from TanaCon. You defended mm. Jeffrey from saying yeah. shit. I mean, you couldn't once say, yeah, Trisha opened up to me about like gender identity issues. Like, never once did he ever mm. come to my defense or anything. And it's like, I don't expect that. I didn't uh, expect it with this situation. It would but, be nice because everybody's shitting on you and he, he knows that you have this genuine problem. Yeah. And, well, the, and he doesn't want to stick his neck out. The, the, the least he could have done was, you know, like, take down the podcast. Because I brought up this podcast, this stupid one, the zip or whatever that was like, like, you know, you having Jeffrey on there, like, gushing over him, like, he's a fucking god. Like, when you know he's a. Yeah, so this was whenever Jeffrey and the Hair by Jay drama was happening and basically um jeffrey went on rylan's the sip podcast and it was like really bad timing because um yes uh because you know trisha was speaking up against them and stuff and then them having jeffrey on the podcast and obsessing over him was a really bad look considering they were going against their friend trisha like really bad awful person he's vile you like, told me he's told you that he thinks he's vile yeah and then he the scene on the podcast not the least he could have done is like you know let's just delete that podcast it's still up it's like i don't expect you to defriend him that's your cash cow that's where you're getting your money still from the palette or whatever but it's like it's just like there's nothing. He never was offered any like rest. I, I don't. I don't trust it. And you know what? Not to bring it all the way back, but I've always heard like Gabby Hanna had said that she that he was the one that told her herpes. That's Not Gabby. Crazy. So she, so the rumor is that well, that's what she said. Told you it's not really yeah, rumor. Yeah, Justin Day. Like anyone could ver- verify that. So like, why would Shane tell her that? You because they were really close at the time that I was like in the whatever David's friend group and whatever, and him and Gabby were close. And and, and like so you... I've heard it from other people, and I'll just say that like other YouTubers that were mutual friends with so... also said Shane talked shit about me. I never wanted. Uh. I mean, everyone behind the scenes was always saying that Shane was the one that was spreading rumors about Trisha. That was a pretty common knowledge thing. I came into the drama world a little bit later than the the rest of them, and I still knew that as well. So I believe that to be true. So even when Trisha was defending Shane, Shane was allegedly spreading rumors about her behind the scenes. Uh, there was even on our podcast I think I said on our podcast that I like didn't believe I think I just didn't believe it because Shane is not that person but bro, what kind of fucking f- friends bro these are bad friends to even make up because it's such a weird thing to make up like, it's just sad that, that your friend is talking shit about you like how old are we we're fucking adults like our friends are supposed to talk shit behind our back but who are these people I don't know I, I was shocked because this is never how he's like handled any situation I wasn't even expecting to hear from him but like the initial J video, which was the traumatizing thing, was where I expected him to call me. Not after I mentioned his name. It was like once he got involved, I was like, oh, I better call right. him. Because that Friday is when I was like hyperventilating. He didn't right. call me until Saturday. And it was only because I started like mentioning him and Rylan. And I, because people were, people were calling it out. And I, look, I don't go by comments. Like people are like, oh, like they defend. Like I don't go by that. I go by what I see, which is him last year telling me Jeffrey's a villain. We're trying to distance ourselves from him, like slowly, to Je- Jeffrey was so loyal to me. And like we're going like, to promote on this podcast. And he was the only one to stick by me. I was like, fuck that shit. He didn't. And you're stupid. And he talked about you. It's crazy Woo! because everybody on the internet now hates Shane, and you stick your fucking neck out him for him big time every yeah. every chance. People like that's the association people have with me. Like, and you generally rubbed off on me. I was like, yeah, maybe Shane's not not a bad dude. Because I do believe he changed from that. Yeah. I said, that's not the person I know. I won't even go back on that. Like, that's not the person I know. I never heard him make those comments. If he, if it's true what he was saying, that's so, a whole other issue. I don't this, know, but is this an anti Shane? This is a, now turned into an anti Shane yeah. pro James Charles podcast. Oh, not a pro James, James Charles thing. fucking podcast. Well, I mean, they learned in a couple, you know. They learned a couple episodes down the line not to associate with James Charles, but, you know, Auntie Shane Dawson, probably. Now, Wait, we're pro James? Because you said last episode that you're ready for 2021 Trisha's ready for James. You don't remember? No, I did not. <laughs> she she did say did. that. You said you wanted to collab with James Charles. Roll the tape. She did say <laughs> no, that. No, I don't think so, but you literally I did. never would say that. I, damn, she crazy. did. Yeah. No, she said James
That's crazy. I you know, I hope he just wakes up and sees because I honestly, again, I'm not. People don't change at this age. Maybe they do, but it takes well, a while. Well, they obviously do. Changes change right before my eyes. This was never the change I knew. And maybe it, it, it didn't change. Maybe you just got to. Maybe, maybe you sell no, the truth. So, maybe, I don't know. But then all of a sudden to be this you person. Told, you like, told people you have herpes like a while ago. It's so crazy. That was so nuts. I was like, cause where, where, why would Gabby just make that up? <laughs> it's just a weird thing to make up. I don't know. Well, like, she, yeah. I mean, yeah, Moses is here the entire time, by the way. And and also, like, okay, what if I have herpes? Like, who fucking cares? Like, you live with it. There's fucking medications. Like, it can be. Yeah, but, but you like, don't. I don't have it, which is like the biggest thing, which is the thing. But now it's coming from Shane. Shane has herpes. You heard it here. Stop it. You heard it right here, right now. Shane Dawson okay. has herpes. I just hope he wakes up because to me, and I told him this, it felt really evil. Like, it felt, I, I'm not trying to be like a Bible thumper, but I told him this because I mean, I do, and he believes in God. I'm like, I feel like you really made a deal with the devil that you are backing him. Probably like, a really good deal, though. He probably made a lot of fucking I, money. He's like, definitely. he's like, look, I made a deal with the devil, but the devil made no. good. Jeffrey lied about how much the pal would make on camera. He even told me it did not make as much as they say. He just makes it up. Wait, Jeffrey over? Ooh! He tells people he makes more than him. He is rich, though. No doubt, I'm not. I'm not doubting that. You lied about how much the pallet made. Do you have any other juice you want to dish out now that you're enemies Ooh. with the wall? I'm not enemies. I really hope Shane wakes up and like honestly, like like I said, I don't want to cancel these people. Like for me, I defended them so long that I just want to be not associated with them anymore because this is like really gross behavior. And I should have spoke up about Jeffrey Sooner when Tab made the video. Tab was the original one, and I said to him I was scared. I was like, I should, but I should have spoke up because it's not. You can't like treat people like shit. Like you can't do this shit. I don't know. It's not. The, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's other bigger allegations against Jeffrey Star, and I was just like, you know, those are more. But I do than think this. this is a really good insight that this guy who's just in the satellite surrounding Jeffrey thinks he needs to be this nasty to you to win Jeffrey's approval. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it was like, so odd. Like it goes to show. Oh my God, I forgot guy. we were talking about Hair by J. Fuck Hair by J. It was so weird, but I... I Jeffrey, you heard it here. I, Ethan Kwan, here now on the Street Podcast and make proclaiming this. Fuck Jeffrey Star. No. Okay. That's on you. I'm not saying that. I said me, Ethan Klein, and in association with Trisha Bader. <laughs> this is a so close statement made by both of us. I don't hate him. I honestly, I hope he finds happiness because I actually do think he's really miserable. I think that's his hell. Like, I should <laughs> live as himself, and I think that's worse. It's like but even I, nastier I think he's happy. to say. Like, Shane's super talented. I think he's going to have like, a nice comeback, and I hope he does. I don't want any of these people canceled forever. I, I mean, let me tell you something. We started this stream going through Shane's video comeback today, and it was not the greatest. So maybe he didn't have that great comeback, Trish. But neither did you. <laughs> Shane's canceled forever. I mean, Jay did. He did text me. Jay about Jay. Oh yeah, did Jay about? I know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So Jay went on this thing. Let's talk about the fallout for Jay. He went on this thing. All my homies like, wow, hate hair by Jay. He was on his live. Everyone was spamming clown emojis to him. That was your people. I think. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was telling Represent, me. Represent, baby. You I, know, I, 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 I didn't ask. No, me, it, I, did, I didn't either. I was just watching the video, and everybody, including us, was shocked. And so, um, word got around. People started seeing this video, and then uh, other people started unfollowing him. Right? Or he he made his account private. He ended it really quick and uh, made it private. He like abruptly stopped. And you said TC Keegan? He blocked me too. Chrissy Keegan unfollowed him? Uh, she unfollowed him. I think she removed a tag or deleted a photo of that because he just did her way like a couple days prior. Ooh, it doesn't pay being a douche, baby. You should just like, be nice. Chrissy Teigen and Kendall Jenner who both use him. Bro, he you just... my phone number and my company name. Just... He showed my Zelle and put my company in out there and I was just like, that's some fucking... Bro, how about just try and be nice and then this shit won't fucking happen to you? Psycho. It's just like... And it's... So he called you and apologized? What did he say? He didn't call me. He talked to me. What did he say? Um... To see, I, call her instead. Good evening. Yeah, it was very formal. Good evening. <laughs> it was very formal. This is an apology from <laughs> Hair by J. He was just, it was, it was something along the line. I, I hate reading text verbatim. I'm just gonna give you the last line because it was something along the line. Like, hope we can move past this. I was like, <laughs> I was like, bitch, hope you can move past this. Well, hope your career can move past this. Saying, like, yeah, I mean, he said it, and it like stopped. And, like, hey, I'm glad he's not trying to kill me. Like, you it's know, nice like, to apologize. I but... mean, he still works with Jeffrey to this day, so he's booked and busy, I guess. Oh. It's nice to apologize. I'm glad he's not trying to murder me. Um, Does he get not. credit for apologizing? He gets a little credit, right? So, I won't read the exact thing, but um, he said... Can I just see if he actually wrote good evening? He said, right here, he said good evening. <laughs> hey, Trish, good evening. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay, so then at the very end, it was just something like, I hope we can move past... Oh, he said, since the... Okay, paraphrase, I don't want to read it, but uh, he goes, you know, because the first time I met you, it was nothing but positive energy. I hope we can move past... So what happened, dude? You gotta ask yourself... I, I believe him. It sounds like you guys did get along. Yeah. So my, my, my thought for you, hair by Jay, if I may call you Jay, if I may address you as Jay... <laughs> is to ask yourself why under what influence did you turn so mean and, and was it justified like you seem like you're a nice guy by nature and you right? so, did it at my birthday dinner <laughs> by nature, well, and you okay, did and it at the vegas like, trip you, you, like, oh, okay. why all of a sudden did you turn so mean like who's influencing you to act like that act, just ask yourself if that's the kind of person you want to be i think just seeing him like power in front of jeffrey and like the way jeffrey treated him i think he was just trying you know how like bullies are he just felt yeah. like and he thought maybe this was his way to gain like jeffrey's good graces i agree way. But, and... but just just ask yourself like dude this cannot be the way that you want to put yourself out there it just can't be people like nice people if you're with people that like mean people don't hang out with those people he even said in the live, he's like, you should fuck with the makeup artist. He's nice. I'm not. I'm like, okay, well, why would you want that? Yeah. It was weird. I don't know. Like, honestly, that's what I'm saying. I think, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a, he's just trying to be cool. And <sighs> he, I mean, he has an, obviously has anger issues. So, like, also, like, Jeffrey and Shane and everybody unfollowed him, right? So what so does that mean? Shane didn't unfollow him until yesterday, which is also why, like, why would you unfollow him? Like, I yeah, I remember that was the main thing that Shane took so long to,
but he refused to like unfollow Jay. I was like, Team Jay. He unfollowed him. He didn't follow him. Jeffrey unfollowed him first, and then Shane and Riley unfollowed. Oh, Jeffrey and first. You haven't talked to either of them since. I blocked everyone because I tried to talk to Shane. And it was like literally. It was like we were like I said, all the way down. we trying. I was like, like it was like giving me like heart palpitations. Like I was like feeling, ooh, I'm gonna get like sick. I had to block him. Do you think the fact that they all blocked him was like an olive branch of being like, yo, we want we want to make this work. We want to like make good with you and figure this out. I don't think it's anything coming back from it. I think they wanted to probably save face for mm. public people to be like, why? True. You know, and his Jeffrey's thing is always, I want to keep this offline. When he's because he did everything shitty. There's not. I'm like. I'm not like sometimes I do of course you want to keep like, it offline. It's you. It's a story of you being an asshole. He's like, I'd like, like to keep this offline. But like, yeah, of course like, you would. Love you, girl. When you know, I told him. Well, I even told him in text when we were talking when he's trying to apologize. I'm still traumatized, and I have no. I don't. I can't talk to him right now. Like I let him know. So why would you say like? Yeah, it was passive aggressive. I hate tweet. that shit. I hate that so. Apologize text me anytime, girl. I love you. It's like whatever, douche. That to me was so gross, and I was just like, okay, like I'm obviously like I don't know. It was weird. And I haven't really said I wasn't trying. I haven't like bashed him in a way, but. Let me ask you this: Is there a moment in the future where you could unblock Shane and try to work it out? Because you guys did have such a nice friendship that I feel sad that. Yeah, uh, it was like a main YouTube group. Like, more than stuff I told my family, so I was like, I don't think mm-hmm. I could trust something like that because that was crazy to be like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, that triggering it to me is also like, I know I'm watching or whatever. I'm like 32, but um, is when people say like they don't believe me because when I was younger, right. like I would, my like, like the teachers were like having sex with me and like no one believed me. Okay. Um. Whoa! Just dropped my phone. Maybe that was a good way of my phone being like, let's end the stream. No. Uh, we'll commit to the bit. Um, first of all, we are seconds away from hitting ten fucking hours. Ten hours. Wait. Ten hours. What the fuck? Ten hours. What the fuck is wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Ten hours. There's something derangedly wrong with us. 10 fucking hours. Anyway, 24 hour stream. Absolutely not. Um, anyway, we are now approaching, unfortunately, so buckle up, the Mr. Riney portion of the episode. So... Be aware of that. I mean, it was like, and I think from that I became like a compulsive liar when I was like younger mm. because I was just like, oh, nobody believes me anyway, so I'll just like lie about everything. So I was like lying about like stupid stuff, like oh, my dad's super rich, like just like crazy shit. And like I had to go like it was a long time. I was like a compulsive liar for like a long time, and then I finally like I was an impulsive liar for a long time, which is why I'm so good at it being not like, but, like no one believe me, no one believe me at all. Like I remember I was going to class with like this teacher that was like forcing himself on me and stuff. You said it's Riley. Well, my chat was saying Riney earlier. Now I am being just gaslit. Like, how does someone believe me? The principal, like, nobody. It was, like, really weird. And so I think from that, like... Did that guy eventually like, get a, Did anyone eventually no, love you? It was not funny, stuff? but, like, my sixth grade teacher... Yeah, I, I talked about it on TikTok. The one that used to molest me would play, like, heads down. And he'd come around and, like, grab my breast oh and, like, put God, his hands on me. He, he did get arrested. And his name was... I, I did say something originally. Like, so like, they've... This person who's uploaded has taken out the name. So there we have her saying that. Like, no one believed me. It happened again my eighth grade year. No one believed me. And I was just like, right. but that guy did. He did get arrested. And I don't well, know where he is now, but. That's not true based on public knowledge from my awareness. Uh, awareness, sorry. I mean, he was never arrested or charged based on public knowledge. Um, so that's where this all begins, where people are like, you're now saying that this teacher did this to you, which is horrible horrifying and upsetting and triggering and disgusting and and then you're saying that he got charged and arrested and then people know the name because you said the name people google the name doesn't have any arrests or charges he did work at the school has just died from cancer and the family are saying that you're lying basically so this is a pretty bad topic but he did. yeah and then Ethan deleted this episode after all of that information came out of I think it was Mysterious posted the video which is topical because we watched that earlier but like um I didn't tell my dad because we weren't close my dad was in California when we lived in Illinois and my mom I had issues with my stepdad so that was my main focus well not, not my stepdad one of her boyfriends and so that was my main focus at home and then I tried to say stuff and then I was like oh I'm not gonna say anything mm-hmm. my mom worked for a job so we were by ourselves all the time like she worked the country club she was a bus driver she was a substitute teacher like she worked the country so club and, like, boy- the chemtrails over the country club by Lana Del Rey Boyfriends would be home or whatever, but it was bad. It was, you know, I thought, like, my own, like, principal didn't believe me. Like, no one's gonna believe me, you know, so. You're, you're not a pathological liar anymore. Pathological? What's that? 
Or like, like, you said you're a chronic liar. I mean, why are you asking no, her? I just am asking because I know people are going to be like, she admits she's a pathological liar. You can't trust anything she says. Um, like, what Which is crazy because then Ethan deleted this episode because people were saying she was lying. Crazy. I'm younger, but I, I'm not now. I don't lie. I make a really conscious effort to I believe not. everything you say. I don't think you're a liar. I think it's like, it's super. I think. Yeah. Some people are super honest. I think you're super honest. I actually believe everything. I, yeah, I don't know, because lying got me in a lot of trouble, like, really early on, like, when my adult life, like, I had to stop, like, I had to find a way to stop, because, like, I couldn't. But it was stuff, like, but then, like, because when she shit did happen, so, like, my dad, for instance, like, like, something real did happen where I had, like, an overdose in my apartment when I was, like, 19, and my dad, like, came and got me, like, but we weren't talking for a long You know what I mean? It just makes all of these other stories feel very, did this happen? Did it? Like, are we to believe that one? If we, you know what I mean? time because i was constantly making up that i was like you know i'm gonna die one day down like watching an overdose and so like i kept saying this and like it was all whatever fake and so then one day it happened mm. and my dad did come get me and it was like whatever but it's like i had to realize like he's like you have to stop lying it's like i don't know when you're mm. coming when you're not and so again this is going a whole other thing because like i did have issues with lying or whatever was that a wake-up call like that moment like, yeah yeah I, early on i stopped the like lying thing and um but overall in general too i never really to me like assault rape like that kind of stuff. like to me i didn't know what rape was like i had to get this like like someone had to get the shit out of you to be raped you know what i mean like i had to have like bruises and shit so like anytime mm. that happened to me i got raped twice on hollywood boulevard like coming home from work i worked at a place called neighborhood he's like i didn't know it was that you know what i mean so to me i was like oh i did bad luck you know what i mean or even like my teachers i was like oh it's just normal like you know what i mean like i just thought it was all normal so like i never even made up that stuff you know what i mean i don't know it's just like weird but um the shame thing again because we open about everything when i say everything like his childhood trauma my child like he knows everything mm. more than I have no comment no comment my own parents and so when he's like i just um he didn't know if what you're saying was true but I just like never lied to him and like I, he's like I think the one person I thought like knew I told him the truth of everything like he never questioned anything like if I told him something he just he took that as truth because I never lied to him um my mom and my dad had lied because I get their trust issues but I I never lied to him so it just kind of sucks to like lose that person because like I and to also just like think that I lied about this of all the things I told you like you're just like mm, I didn't choose to believe that like it's just all yeah that's... and then I thought maybe that's real maybe he didn't believe me because people do say I'm a liar online and like that's why I don't know I used to didn't open about stuff I just, I'll keep talking if people think I'm lying whatever like my in my opinion what happened is that he does always believe you, but in this case, he had this conflict of interest, you know, where he's making a shitload of money with this guy. And I don't think consciously he was like, uh, I'm going to, he made anything, but I think he's just kind of like, he had this conflict going on in his head and the only way he could rationalize continuing with Jeffrey is being like, oh, she's probably exaggerating or something like that. He said that. And then what's weird is I showed him the text messages from Vegas. Like I let him read the text messages and of him being like, we threw your stuff in the trash. Like he saw it, like it was real. I mean, obviously making him believe that. But then, then in the same breath, he said, I was hoping you two would just like eventually make up. And I'm like, this is someone who like traumatized me, who like told me to like jump off a building, like, all this crazy shit. And I'm like, you I mean, to like belittle someone and be like, oh, like you'll eventually get over it or I hope you get over it just kind of diminishes, you know, someone's true feelings. We're hoping we make up. Like that's so crazy. Like that, why is that an excuse? He clearly didn't. I think he's just rationalizing. To tell keep, me you want to yeah. keep money. Tell me you want to keep him as a friend, but don't lie. He said the whole last year that he's trying to distance himself, and now he's like mm. he was loyal to me. I don't know. It is a lot, and if people think I'm a liar, they think I'm a liar. But I like this is the first time I ever talked about this, like anything like publicly like this. And there's a lot more, and I just I'll, I'll talk about it. But... I don't. I don't think you're lying. I don't think anyone thinks she never did. After this, just went silent on it. And when people pressed her about information, she didn't talk about it again. You're lying, dude. Hair, it's crazy. Hair by Jay literally corroborated everything you're saying. Right, and that's I think also what was like I guess nice. I don't think anyone could deny what you're saying is true at this point. Um, I mean, there's, there's Snapchat. If anyone ever saved Snapchat of him, like, smacking food on me, like, there's so many things. Rich Lux was also there. Also, all that stuff. Ah, uh, Rich Lux. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. It's just nice, I guess, when someone, like, can, I guess, confirm, which is because everyone just assumes I'm lying, which I wish it was the opposite, which is just like... Everyone assumes I'm lying after she just told the story about the teacher, which I'm not saying she's lying at all. I'm not saying that, but... I believe everybody, like, and hope it's not true or whatever, but it's like, at least take people at their, like, word. I don't know. Mm it's crazy dude uh, it's like a lot and the, the shame thing's a lot but like I said I don't even feel bad usually when I make a video I feel horrible I'm like oh, what did I do I ruined this friendship but I I don't want it <laughs> I don't want it because that's like one of the biggest things if you don't believe me then what's the point of having you in my life that's like Moses saying he doesn't believe then what's the point like well, are we going to have a relationship how are we going to be like long people together if you don't believe what I'm saying I feel sad that, that you guys friendship is on the rocks but I think ultimately it sounds I, I don't know but I feel bad I mean I'm not saying you made the wrong decision I think you probably did I mean, everybody's supportive because everyone's like, fuck Shane, you know? I mean, I kind of hate that, though. I hate that it's like, just because it's like cool to hate Shane. Like, fine, Trisha the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, it's I don't not about that. that. Yeah. Because I still stand by, like, I think he's changed as a person. Like, obviously, the D'Angelo video, like, I only started watching a bit. And, like, if that stuff is true, like... I mean, the next episode, she said that he's, like, the worst person in the entire world. So, I mean, just take what she's saying here with a pinch of salt, will we? Pinch of salt? It's heavy. I don't know. But like I said, your video, people have made videos about me that made me look a different way. I don't know. Right. They could lie. You know, people could lie. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to. I, you don't need to get into all that stuff. It's just, it's, it's, you know what I mean? It's not more complicated than he's your friend and you know him. Well, I think it's just like I defended him for so long. Like, that's not Shane. He's a great person. And I, to be honest, like, you know, he's changed recently or he's always been this kind of shit person I didn't know. And I just, it sucks. I think it's, in, I, my hunch is that it's just specifically with Jeffrey. He has this enormous conflict of interest where he knows he's a shitty person, but he's literally the source of an enormous amount of money. That's yeah. the devil. That's like, that's literally. And by the, the way, by evil. the way, evil yeah, shit. pick. The money you're throwing away a friendship with a stupid... human relationship for fucking
Well, a shade. Color. Yeah. Well, they have the Trisha shade, yeah, on the conspiracy palette. What the fuck? Did they Good night. <laughs> no, I mean, to me, it was more like an honor because Shane was a huge deal at the time. So yeah, I'm like, so what? They're using your fucking name. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, no, I was not. Um, like I said, Shane, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was really cool at the time. I don't know. I, yeah, they should I, all, I yeah, keep like, change from the money. I think, like, honestly, like that, or just not working, and he's, I don't know what it is, but he's. Yeah, changed. well, he doesn't work, so he needs that money. You know what I mean? I would, I don't, I would rather be homeless, and I have been homeless, but rather than taking money from something that's dirty money. Well, that's why you don't get in business with some fucking person like that. You know what I mean? I, hmm. Yeah, I never, I don't know. Well, I guess we're not playing movie trivia. I don't know. How long have we been going, Dan? Uh, about. Oh, oh, we're not Sorry, can we talk about how quickly they talked about the Mr. Riney thing and then just like, or Mr. Riley, and then just like moved past it? Like, that's a really big claim. Arrest, charges, did this to you during school time, quickly moved past it. Blank trivia. Oh. I'm down, I mean, we, we have it for next week. I mean, I'm, I'm down, but I feel like. Um, I brought all my money. Oh, you brought, see, I don't have stacks of cash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How much well, cash you got there? I thought it would be fun. So next week I'll bring my stack. Damn, girl, 2000 No, it's the 3000 Holy shit. Look at this. Trisha came fucking packing. Yeah. You don't smell money? Why are you acting like I'm crazy? I don't know. Coronavirus? Mm. <laughs> 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 you don't smell money? Why are you acting like I'm crazy? Um. Nobody smells money? Everybody talks about the smell of money. One more shout out. I know we're like wrapping this up. Can I say one more shout out? Yeah. Okay. It's Martin Luther King Day as the day we're filming this right now, um, which won't be tomorrow. But I just want to give a shout out because like I don't want to like sound stupid, but I feel like we need to bring attention to him. That like he didn't he like he did a lot. He's like the OG, right? Like he did the peaceful protest. I love Martin. He yeah. was the first person to be like, hey, let's like do something and change, but like also be peaceful about it. But did you also know he like was helping to like end poverty during like, the Vietnam War? Like he was helping like feeding people. Like, it was more than just like racial like injustice, which was a huge thing. And like I love that people are still doing it. But like he was a really cool guy, and I wanted to like play the movie trivia today, and I was gonna, I knew I was gonna win the money. I was gonna win the six thousand. Yeah. Like, Wait, I don't remember agreeing to put three thousand a piece. Wasn't it three thousand or two thousand? I would put like a thousand. Like, you're, like, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, I'm gonna win this time. Let's $20,000. Like, we what a crazy, just sub conversation we're having here. I remember agreeing to pay your ass $3,000. Okay, well, well, let me finish. You're going to come back to me with that? I can kind of say, because I'm not with the king. Yeah, I thought, you know, I'm going to win the 6000 And then I was like, oh, we should play for like, char- like an MLK charity, like Amnesty or something. And Amnesty, sure, like, okay. you know, helps. Yeah. I'll bet 1000 And then we can donate the money to, or if there's another one, I think um, Habitat for Community is another one that they so, offer. You, you know, they say that he was a. He was a Dion, D'Angelo Wallace kept making fun of the fact that... Sorry, she, I knew this is when they talk about D'Angelo, one hour 30, so I just wanted to skip to this. And always refers to himself as an empath. I don't think you can call yourself an empath. I think that's like someone calls himself a good person. He always I'm refers to himself as an empath, and I was like, this is odd. Mm, well, I'm a narcissist, so maybe that's why we narcs and empaths go good together, because according to Dr. Drew, I was narcissistic. Where is Dr. Drew? He's amazing. No! Oh, we don't want Dr. Drew ever, ever again, ever again. Uh, I'm sure he did. He's a healthy sprite. I think he's fine. Um, yeah, anyways, I don't know. Like, I guess, like, yeah, I just give- the Ryland dragons are coming next episode. I hope we're all ready. If you need money, hit me up. I send money to people every day. Well, calm down. Don't, 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 no, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's a lot. If you need money, hit me up. I don't know. Well, if like, maybe, actually. maybe slow it down a little bit. I've got it right here. We should go get this to someone, but I never feel mad. I hate when people are like, here's $3,000. Right, like, you're not, just hold on to your money. Don't just put that back in the bank, please. All my homies hate yeah, Dr. Jerry. I'm not I was so excited. Are you gonna practice? I feel like you're gonna practice. No, no, no. I can't, you can't practice for trivia. So should we do a couple questions? Let me just get a feel. No, for I feel like that should be a whole episode. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's just do one. No. I just one and no. It's good. Okay. We'll get people excited for next week. Let me just do one. Who? You don't have a question. Oh, I was going to ask you. Okay, go ahead. Who's the lead singer of My Chemical Romance? I just said it. At the I don't episode. remember his name. All right, if they're doing trivia, hold on. Oh, I got all of them right here. Here's a great. It wasn't a feature Okay, wait. I don't, I don't need, I don't need it. The I only need. reason I'm going to skip it is because there was like a conversation within a conversation with the hair by Jay and Mr. Riney. Is it Riney or Riley? Guys, is it Mr. Riney or Riley? Chat earlier it was Riney and now it's Riley. It's Riney. Okay, I said that and then someone was like, no. So leave me alone. I mean, between that and Hair by Jay, I feel like that's a lot more important to focus on than trivia. Um, I mean, that's crazy. What she said about Mr. Riney just opened up an entire entire list of problems and how are we feeling about that episode i feel like this episode was super messy but i feel like it starts to show the cracks of what is to come in frenemies where the next episode literally the next episode is when trisha turns on shane i mean look at me loving it i was lapping it up look at this 15k likes people loved me where was that energy um about you know trisha and stuff like that um, so I'm excited to start getting to these episodes, but, uh, and I mean, the Jason Nash drama, Trisha with David, it was insane. Um, but yeah, this episode was definitely starting to show, um, the cracks within it. And, um, I just want to know how we're all feeling about it, but yeah, that's my opinion. Um, a messy episode, the Mr. Riney thing's really messy, hair by Jay, 
iconic drama, and uh, it only gets messier from here.